A blessed day to each of you and welcome. Thank you for joining us here at St. Luke Church as our parish celebrates the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We are especially grateful that you are with us in prayer to support one another during these challenging days for our families and our world. We will be praying together in a special way this weekend for all of you, our parishioners, and Hugh Callahan, Helen Richiski, Elizabeth and Anthony Magyar, and Walter Sutherland. And now, let us all be one in mind and heart as we come together in joy and thanksgiving to celebrate the Lord's gifts of word and Eucharist. to all of you and we welcome you all to this holy Eucharistic celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My friends, disciples can expect to be confronted at any time by those who seek to harm them. We may not necessarily suffer the fate of martyrs, but we know well what we may face even here at home if we talk publicly about our faith. So let us receive comfort and courage from Jesus, telling us not to be afraid to proclaim our faith from the housetops. You have conquered sin and death by your dying and rising. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Your word enlightens us in the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You have given us the gift of your spirit to strengthen us in faith. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us praise and glorify God. Glory to God, God in the highest, highest and, and on earth, peace, peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, you we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, one God of the Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. You alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name. For you never deprive of your guidance, 
those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord. Praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man sin entered the world, and through sin death, and thus death came to all men inasmuch as all sinned. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world. 
though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin, after the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who was to come. But the gift is not like the transgression. <coughs> For if by the transgression of the one the many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for many. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you O lord jesus said to the twelve fear no one nothing is concealed that will not be revealed nor secret that will not be known what i say to you in darkness speak in the light what you hear whispered proclaim from the housetops and do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs on your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than any sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, may I invite you take, uh, to take a few moments to count your hair. Can you take a few moments to count your hair? <laughs> it might take a long time for, for you to count your hair, but it doesn't take much long time for me to count my hair. Probably I have probably hundred and some hair in my head. In today's gospel, Jesus says, even all the hairs of your head are counted. What does Jesus mean by these words? Jesus again says in today's gospel, are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. What does Jesus mean by these words? Through these words, Jesus invites the 12 of his disciples and us, his disciples, to trust in God and in his providential care. The context of today's gospel is that Jesus is sending his disciples to proclaim the good news 
and he tells them about the challenges they will face while spreading the good news. He tells them not to fear death, instead trust in God's power to overcome it. My friends, we are living in unprecedented times. The pandemic has claimed thousands of lives and has left many of us and our fellow men and women with the fear, anxiety and worry of catching the virus and with the fear of death. Experts report that the fear, anxiety, panic attack and depression have reached the record level high during this pandemic in our country. The whole globe is in fear and anxiety. And the brutal killing of George Floyd has revealed to us the stark reality of racism in our country and prompted countrywide protests and rallies demanding reform and change in the system, in the structure, and in our policies. These events in turn have increased our fear, anxiety, and feeling of uncertainty. In this context, the words of Jesus offer us consolation and hope. Jesus says in today's gospel, do not be afraid. Please take a few moments to take this invitation, this command of Jesus to your heart. Do not be afraid. It is said that in the Bible, this phrase, do not be afraid, or fear not. This is there for 365 times. If you take one verse, be not afraid for one day, it's like every day the Lord is telling us, be not afraid. Be not afraid. So let's pause for a moment and reflect what are you and I afraid of these days? What are your worst fears and anxieties that paralyze you these days? Bring them all to Jesus, our divine healer. Surrender your fears to the Lord so that he may heal you and make you whole. Jesus is inviting you and me today not to be afraid of in two areas of our lives. Number one, in the area of announcing the good news and standing for our faith. Just think about this. What was the last time you told your children that God loves them? What was the last time you prayed with your family in your home? What was the last time you shared about your faith with your friend? What was the last time you invited a friend to join you in the weekend masses? Think about it. If we ourselves are not willing to share our faith in the simple way, then how can we expect uh, uh, the faith to grow? Jesus invites us to stand for our faith. Let's ask him for the courage to stand for our faith. Number two, in the area of promoting a just and fair society in our home, homeland. Justice, as someone said, justice is love distributed. True justice alone will lead to true peace. Mahatma Gandhi said, be the change you wish to see in the world. So if you and I want to see justice and equality and equity in the world, we should treat others justly and equally. So let us pause for a moment and reflect. What is the one thing you and I can do to transform our homeland, our society, into a more just and more equitable society.
What is that one thing we need to work on in order to embrace the truth that we are indeed our brother's keepers? My friend, Jesus is inviting all of us today to stand for our faith and to stand for our brothers. In a few minutes from now, our Lord Jesus Christ is going to come into our hearts and he comes into our hearts as has the Lord for the courage to do that. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's all stand now and profess our faith solemnly. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, the Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for as us and for, for our salvation, salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My friends, let us bring our prayers and petitions before our God who rescues the lives of the poor who trust in him. That our church have the courage to witness to Christ in every part of the world, no matter the obstacles, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all fathers on this Father's Day weekend, that they may be examples of courageous faith to their families, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders will value the lives of all the people whose lives have been entrusted to them, especially the poorest and the most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the safety of missionaries throughout the world, as they work tirelessly to share the good news among all God's children, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the innocent victims who suffer because of racism, anger, and violence in our land, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of you, our parishioners, as well as Hugh Callahan, Helen Rachiski, Elizabeth and Anthony Magyar, and Walter Sutherland, whom we remember in a special way in our Masses this weekend, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially our fathers and those who have lost their lives in the pandemic and for those who are ill especially dr sean finnerty armando fuscianti rosie manino and all who suffer from the coronavirus we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for all who serve us in the armed forces and all who put themselves in harm's way on our behalf especially first responders and healthcare personnel in the COVID pandemic, and for the needs we now remember in the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. O oh God, source of all our strength, grant us the grace and courage to be your faithful witnesses every day of our lives. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sure. 
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands. To the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and every way to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. But in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the fru first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with all the angels and archangels, saints and martyrs, we praise you as in joyful celebration we have claimed. <laughs> Found of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Frank our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face 
have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be going to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <clears throat> the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we now dare to say our, our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy, thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom and the, the power and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace, love, and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace of the Lord be with you. Always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, mm -hmm. O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our su sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We have an announcement. Bishop Cardiano has announced phase two of welcoming people back to the celebration of the Eucharist. We are aiming to resume indoor masses here at uh, St. Luke next weekend. The requirements have been posted on the diocesan website. We will also keep you updated through our flock notes emails 
and our parish website. And before the final blessing, we want to thank you all for being here to praise and worship God. We want to thank Deacon Steve and Mr. Leon and Valerie and Chris Creer and all the volunteers and all of you for being here. Thank you for showing up. And to all the dads, wish you all a happy, happy. Um, happy Father's Day. Thank you for being good fathers and thank you for um, playing a wonderful role as um, responsible, good and wonderful fathers. God bless you. And please join me now in the prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, Michael, the, the archangel, archangel, defend us in battle. Be, be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.